Hey there, viewers. Thank you for tuning in to Super Mario Diagnostics once again. I've got a diagnosis here. Well, we're about to get started on a 2013 Ford Fusion. And a customer's concern was um, <clears throat> a message saying um, overheat protection. Also, the check engine light came on. Uh, she said that the check engine, uh, that the level was low, the cooling level was low. Also, that it came from the dealer and they couldn't figure it out. So, let's see what's going on here. I pulled some codes already. And we've got a P018, P018C-006C. That's that is fuel pressure sensor B. Circuit low. I believe this is a one bank vehicle. So, I'm not sure why it would say sensor B. But let's get move on with it. P1299. Cylinder head over temperature protection active. P2560, engine coolant level low. So I want to keep my eye on that temperature just to play it safe. So let's take a look at some live data and see what we find. If the, te if the circuit is low, that means that this, this, with this system, the pressure uh, rises along with voltage. So if the circuit is low, either we have... Some, I doubt it would be an open circuit because it, it would probably jump to 5 volts. It would either be a short to ground or actual low fuel pressure. So let's take a look. Our temperature is good for now, so let's keep it at... Uh, I'm going to keep the engine running and take a look at live data, see what we find. Last thing I need is for this thing to actually overheat. So I'm just going to search for fuel, that way we could get some fuel pressure and fuel trims. If the fuel trims are showing lean, then I will fuel rail pressure 1.43, that's, that's not a short to ground. Could it be an intermittent short to ground? The desired is not far off. So let's take a look at fuel trims, let's put in fuel trims because Fuel pressure is low, we're going to read lean. So we're reading a tiny bit lean, but not enough for me to think that something is way off. These combined, we're looking at almost 8% eight, um, 8 correction. So let's do a visual inspection, see what we find. So as usual, you, usually, you get pertinent information a little late. So story is that the client went to the dealer and they somehow programmed a thermal protection uh, program going on in here so that's what we're seeing I'm going to clear the codes and see what happens um, I already printed them out I've got all the data that I needed but <clears throat> I want to see what's going on with the coolant level the coolant level I looked at it it doesn't look too far off I'll show you guys but um, I also want to back probe the fuel rail pressure I'm possibly gonna back probe it at the PCM, wiggle some wires and see what's going on. Maybe the maybe the sensor is wigging out on us. So, so I still haven't gone up to the front under the hood uh, to take a good look. I'm still here with the scanner, and what I did was clear the codes and recheck for codes. Uh, do I demanded a self test key on engine off? I heard the fan come on, so I know the fan works, and I also see this coming right back up. So I want to take a look at that fuel pressure sensor real quick before I dig in any deeper. I, I always go with what I can get to first and since, it's, and since it came up on the scanner first I'm gonna go for it and then we'll deal with the cooling issue. I think that's what's gonna be our reduced power uh, issue but we'll go by the low-hanging fruit first. Alright so I got a couple of PIDs here. I've got a uh, coolant pump diagnostic status, my coolant temperature no fault, coolant um, Actual temperature 186 and fuel rail pressure versus actual versus desired right next to each other I want to see if I get any dropouts there. This is my Fuel rail pressure sensor right here, and I want to um, To see what comes at me first Because honestly, I have never encountered this particular situation on this particular engine. So I want to play it safe My coolant level is actually not that bad. So I'm not really worried there so this is what we go through day to day. Sometimes we don't know everything there is to know about every single car. So keep looking down the fuel pits. 
and uh, I see um, check this out this 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 should pop out real obviously to you guys 0 0.01 for low side fuel pressure voltage <laughs> we obviously have fuel so there's something going on with the pressure sensor so this whole time I thought that my uh, engine code was due to the fuel pressure from the rail this is this would be my rail pressure sensor but my low side fuel pressure sensor is down here so I'm gonna go ahead and back probe this thing and see what's going on uh, maybe our sensor is shorted internally I think we could confirm wiring by just disconnecting it and watching it jump up to 5 volts so let's go ahead and check that out alright so I got the key on and I'm still at 0 0.01 on my low side fuel pressure voltage let me go ahead and disconnect that sensor and we jump up to 5 volts now I'm obviously going to check my power on ground because uh, we've only confirmed the signal wire to be good but we haven't confirmed the rest so let's go ahead and check our powers and grounds and um, if that checks out we are looking at a bad sensor shorted to ground sensor alright so there's my meter I'm grounded and I want to check my meter and there it is on my battery positive 12.58 and what we are looking for I've got a very thin probe I'm not going to spread these pins but I'm looking for one ground and two 5 volt references two full 5 volt readings so see what we have here hopefully, hopefully you guys can see that I'm going on the side of the of the, the terminal I'm not going I'm not spreading these pins we have 5 volts here we have 16 millivolts here that's a ground and we have our 5.63 little high but I'm not too worried about it so that is our sensor so I've got my engine running and I'm basically just keeping an eye on my live data pits I want to see if anything jumps out if it starts overheating or if some something really pops out I already have my coolant level at 119 millimeters I'm gonna be keeping an eye on that and an eye on my uh, since we have a code for our level sensor I'm also gonna be keeping an eye on an infrared camera here I want to make sure that I have good cooling flow all across the, the circuit so if anything does come up I will put it up but if it doesn't I will keep you guys updated and we'll take it from there so while I'm waiting I'm also doing some digging and uh, I found some TSBs and I found a recall as well and basically what they're saying is to install a fuel level sensor and the recall is basically that the head can crack once it's overheated and look around a bit and I've got some oil leaks here now I couldn't tell you for sure if that's a head or not but it's in that general area now the story is that the dealer already replaced this engine whether they did or not I couldn't tell you because I don't think this is a new engine but I could be wrong and that coolant level sensor looks like something that was put in after that does not look like it was originally with the car it looks brand new compared to everything else got a little module of some sort back there too that does have some dust on it but all this looks brand spanking new now it's it's is that the system that they put in that thermal per, over like over temperature protection is that part of the same system? Is Am I beating on a dead horse here? I kind of think so. I'm starting to think so. So, <clears throat> it's kind of hard to see where to go to next. I mean, am I wasting my time with something that they installed uh, as part of a recall? Or can I actually fix this thing? And that's what I'm battling right now. So every now and then you're going to have to diagnose a car that you're going to have to do absolutely no work on. And this is just one of those cases, but I feel like I uh, would be doing a disservice by not posting this video due to the to, to our findings. You know, we, we started out with a check engine light. We've got a fuel low side fuel pressure sensor code. It didn't say low side fuel pressure sensor. It didn't say fuel rail pressure sensor. But, you know, obviously I'm not too familiar with this car, but doing a little digging goes a long, a long way. Same thing goes for our coolant issue, low level uh, issue. <clears throat> the car came in, 
has an overheating protection system going on. And as I'm waiting for this overheating supposed protection to come on, I do some digging. And this one just goes, another one for the books. Uh, read your TSBs, read your recalls, read whatever you can on the subject. Because uh, you never know what's really going on until you do some digging. So, we did our digging, we found our recall, and it looks like this is exactly the situation um, that's occurring here. They installed something that is not in our wiring diagrams. I looked at the wiring diagrams, there's no such thing as a coolant level sensor. Those parts look brand new. There is a data pit for me to see uh, the the um, the height of the level, basically in millimeters, but there's no way for me to tell that... <clears throat> whether um, um what to look for I, I without the diagram i'm kind of i have no map so with that i am it, this is just out of my control there's nothing i could do uh, the shop is deciding to refer back to the dealership so that we do not interfere with any of the recall or anything of that nature we're not even going to do the sensor the fuel rail a pressure sensor we just we're just going to give it to the dealer and let them deal with it uh, so that where we call we don't cause any disservice to the customer as well we do not want to get in the way of anything if it were my shop i would do it but you know what I, it's sometimes it's just how it goes but i feel like not posting this video would be um a crime because uh it just goes to show that you, with a little bit of digging you can find reason as to what is happening to certain cars you know you never know what kind of information is out there until you do the digging so with that i end this video uh, a little disappointed but it comes with a job you know sometimes you diagnose things and they're not going to do it or it's best not to and this is just one of those cases i'm just going to move on i've got other work to do so thanks for watching i appreciate you taking the time and uh if you like what you see, hit like, hit subscribe, leave a comment. What did you like? What didn't you like? Did you not like my new microphone? Doesn't it sound better? <laughs> uh, and share, you know, um, share whatever you find. Always, that, just like I'm doing, I'm always sharing whatever I find. Any information that I feel is very important to get out there, I'll put it out there. But um, I would like for all of you to do the same. Share what you find. Share your knowledge. Share uh, your data. <laughs> Until next time, thanks for watching.